our mind is like a computer. If we don't know how to use it, we may have to do reboot <laughs> to clean up the memory and restructure so that we can be wiser. How do we do that? The term is garbage in, garbage out. So to know what's going on, a computer like mine access the information from outside. Garbage information comes in and we live in the garbage environment, we get lost. So we want to clean up. It's ourselves, so how do we do things different for ourselves? We have to go beyond the normal way of doing. So in the case of computer, we reboot. So how do we reboot? There's a way. <laughs> it may take time because it's a complex computer we got in our mind. But it's actually more than the computer. It's much better than the computer because it has its own self-organizing feature if we can access that. And what this self-organizing feature is, is like a power of the universe. You may not want to hear such a term, but it's the power of the universe that created us to be on Earth, to be alive from the dust of the universe. That's who we are. So we have that law of the universe, power of the universe functioning within us, so that even if the mind is shut down, we can breathe, the blood circulate, and we can be alive. So the mind is useful, but we have to have a good way to process it, and I call here as redemption, cleaning up our mind. How do we do that? Meditation is the way. When you meditate, we don't use your mind. We just focus on breathing, or just listening, or be aware of the situation as it is, not as we want it to be, the way it is. And if we start to use your mind as we want it to be something, that's the ego, that is contaminated by the bad habit that we developed in the past. So we want to clean up, let go, accept, and be aware. So I use that term, meditation. I'll just give a couple of examples if I can. Buddha's disciple, he was not a smart but more retarded person, and he still had the suffering. So he asked, how can I help? And the Buddha said, clean up whatever you find in this situation you live, sweep, reorganize, clean up. That's what Buddha said. That's in the story of Buddha in the Sutra. And he got awakened, not because of the intellectual power in the mind, but the, by the factor of cleaning up. And that's what we want to do in our mind. Meditation is a way. As I mentioned, the cleaning up may be a way. Also, no says, accept everything as it is, say yes to everything. That's the practice he did. This is the Shin Buddhism. Just practicing everything so that uh, yourself be gone and replaced by Amida Buddha. Amida Buddha represent, you might call it God, or the power of the universe, so that whatever is within us already can function. Because that's how we are born on earth and living without the mind. So that power has self-organizing nature for us to be alive, and that also manifests and influences the limitation of the mind or the bad habit we develop. 
So more you spend time being quiet and accept as it is, everything as it is, as in meditation or sweeping or doing the chore, just mindlessly doing the gardening work, just listening to bird, cicada, watch the sunset, mind empty, no mind. Then you have the access to go beyond the limitation of the mind and let the power of the universe, or you can call it as God if you prefer that term, power of the universe, law of the universe that brought us and make us alive to influence. But if the mind is too occupied, ego is functioning all the time, you are <laughs> not in a good situation. You are driven by the mind or the ego, not accessing the self-organizing nature that you have built in as we are alive. So redemption, accept, be sincere and truthful in whatever we do. Have a moment of quiet time. No mind may be counterintuitive, but let the situation to come and go and you observe more of such quality time you have. All the congested information, the memory, the habitual pattern even, would reorganize itself to fit to who you are at the root of who you are, where the law of the universe manifests. The, therefore, you die your ego, you die your self-identity that drives you to keep doing the same function, which is like, often I feel like hitting the head into the wall, using the same mind habit. Let's go beyond, find the unlimited intelligence that brought us on this earth, the power of the universe, whatever the term you call it. Have faith and be sincere and truthful and have a quiet moment and refresh, rebirth and live a happy life.